Welcome to Design Coach with RepSketch. In this video, I will show you how to create a zipper on a sketch using RepSketch. RepSketch is a free online vector design tool to create technical fashion sketches by repurposing existing designs. Let's get started. We'll look for a design in our design library to expedite the process. So let's look for something like a hoodie maybe. As you can see, RepSketch provides an extensive library of vector-ready designs contributed by our community. I'll use this women's raglan sleeve hoodie design and click here to start editing the sketch right away. Okay, first let's ungroup our hoodie design object by selecting it and click on this ungroup button at the bottom. We'll now delete this kangaroo pocket as we're going to add a zipper closure to this hoodie design. Let's now edit group the front and delete the stroke line as well. Once done, regroup all these design objects again so they don't move while we are working over them. Great, we're now ready to create a zipper. So to create a zipper, head over to the side menu and select this create or edit path option and draw a vertical line. Now select this line and head to stroke settings to increase the stroke width. I'll straighten this line a bit. Now head over to the stroke setting again and this time change the stroke style to a dotted one and adjust the gaps between the dots from this custom pattern option here. This looks good. Now we'll create the other side of the zipper. So let's duplicate this line and place it on the other side, making sure the teeth of both lines intersect in between like this. Great. Now we'll add lines on either side of the zipper followed by seams. For that, quickly duplicate one of these lines, head to stroke settings and reduce the stroke width and style to a regular line. Align it to one side of the zipper and duplicate it to align it to the other side. Now to add seam lines, duplicate a line and use the stroke settings toolbar to reduce the stroke width. Also, change the line style to a dotted one and add more space between the dots using this custom pattern tool. Align it to the zipper and duplicate it to the other side as well. This looks good. We'll now add a zipper slider to our design. Let's look for it in our components pane here. This looks good to me. We'll drag and drop this to our workspace. Position it on top of the zipper and resize it to match the zipper width. Now we'll style the slider to match the zipper. Click on the edit group to start making the changes. Let's work on the color and width of this ring first. Hold down the shift key and select the ring object and change its stroke color and increase the width like this. Similarly, select all other objects holding the shift key and change the stroke and fill color to match the zipper teeth. Perfect. We'll now add a stopper at the bottom of our zipper. Select this draw shapes from the sidebar and pick this rectangle shape and draw it at the bottom. Adjust the stroke color and width and resize it to match the zipper width. That's it. To finish off, we'll select and group all our design objects and our hoodie with zip closure is ready. This is how you can create professional design sketches in minutes with RepSketch. Do check out our other video tutorials if you found this helpful. And use the comment section below for any questions or suggestions on what we should create next. Thanks.